Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at smart objects and how to use them if you are a UI designer. Um, I've been looking at these two methods and uh, both of them has got pros and cons, but we're going to take a look at them and you decide for yourself which one you like to use uh, in your own project. So the first method is going to do a mechanic when you would basically, but I think it's better if I just show you. Let's have a look at the first method and then the second one at the end. All right. So here we are in Photoshop and I'd like to show you this first method. And the way you do it, I already set it up. I'm gonna run through the file very quickly and then you can see what happens. And then I recreate it fast so you can just uh, see the step-by-step -step guide. Let me just turn this. Uh, so what, what happens here, you'll have a folder where I put basically my pistol reticles and inside the smart object, if you open it, and let me just zoom in. So you'll have all these different states and these are, oops, let me just turn all of them on. So these are all on separate artboards. And the funny thing is that if you would save this and then you go back, you see all your state next to each other. But if you only reveal one at a time, it will always place it in the middle. But first, let me just show you. Here are my guides in the middle. So if you would basically turn on only the default, you save it and it'll be in the middle. You go back. Uh, let's show the hit, for example, because it's a bit larger. It'll be in the middle. And then you see all of them. When you save it, it always place it in the middle. So this is great when you would just like to see uh, if you just do like a background test. But it's great if you want to go and have a context sheet where you would just see all of them at once. So this is my first method. And how would you set this up? Very fast. So all what happens is I already had my marker here. So I literally just create, let's say, 100 by 100 pixel. Ooh, that is way off. Okay, cool. Let's go and create. Uh, I'm just going to create something small, like 40 by 48. That should be fine. Color doesn't really matter. I just put it in the middle like this. Go back to my layers. And I'm just going to call the... Uh, it doesn't matter how you call it. It's just basically turn it into a smart object right away. And once it's a smart object, you can open it. Go to your artboard tool. And create an artboard. So this is going to be my first... Uh, artboard I'm gonna call call it default there we go and then I hold down option key and press on the plus it'll create another one I'm gonna call this uh, let's say ADS and and so on you can well, you can go basically here and just change the color to uh, purple just to represent the idea I'm gonna pull them a bit closer so and then you hold down option again uh, this is going to be let's say uh, I don't know, reload, there we go, this is going to be green. So the same idea, so you save this and it'll create uh, this colors next to each other. So all the all boards are next to each other. But if you only reveal one at a time, then it'll always place it in the middle for you, in the right position where you originally started off from, which is awesome. So if I go back to reload, even though it's in relative to the default, it'll, it'll be a bit off. But when you save it, it'll just place it into the same placements, which is awesome. I think this is really good. It's a massive pro and I like to do this mechanic, but there's another one. Uh, let's let's go through the second one. OK, so the second one would be the same idea here. But when you open the smart object, you would have all these artboards next to each other. Now, the idea is that you create layer comps. Let's say, let me just pull the layer comps here. So what happened here, uh, you can create layer comps for each artboard. So what happens here, uh, you create this, this is going to be default and I'll call it red. And then I'll turn the purple on create another one and it's gonna be ads and then uh, it's uh, more of a pink of course there we go and then you'll create another one which is gonna be the reload uh, and it's gonna be green so the idea is that um 
So you have got all these uh, layer comps. You'll need to always reveal them all, save it. And then in here, uh, if you go and select this panel and then go into the properties, you can use this drop down menu just to basically reveal uh, whichever layer comps you want to see let's say if it's red is the red if it's pink is the pink if it's the reload is the green and and you can see already what's the problem with this one that the location changes so if you go with this mechanic what you will need to do is instead of having odd boards uh, maybe just have one and then you'll just kind of like duplicate these and then start calling this ADA oh this is default default and this is going to be ADS and it's going to be pink and this is going to be a green and we call it a reload and we have to do the layer comps again I did close it so I'll just have to go and open it again layer comps there we go so I'm gonna go and take these delete these uh, and I just start over so if I go and create layer comp uh, default uh, red and then I'll create another one which is going to be ADS pink and then I'll create another one which is going to be reload green now we have got these uh, uh, different layer comps so you will reveal all this you will save it and um, whatever is on the top will be basically shown here first but you can always select it, go to properties and change it to whatever you want. You want to go and change it to the default, it'll change it to the default layer com. Uh, if you want it to be the ADS, it'll change it to that. Position remains. Uh, the downside is that you can't really see them next to each other because they are on top of each other. So you'll have to basically turn on and off the ones you don't want to see. So... Um, yeah, you decide which one you prefer. I do prefer the other one, other method mode, and I use this more. It also helps me when um, just to visualize my uh, asset sheet. What is the, what are the states are gonna be like? It's easier for me to see if there's any states I'm missing, um, and I just prefer this uh, overview kind of uh, 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 representation rather than the, uh, on top of each other. So this is the two method I wanted to share with you today. I hope you like the video. If you do, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button. It really helps the channel to be uh, more out there. At the moment, we don't really um, get a lot of uh, views, which is fine. You know, it's 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 okay. I'll do it because I love to do it. So, but it would be nice to see the channel grow. All right. I hope you're doing well and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.